Hello and welcome to JG JP Gecko Productions. This is our first video, so please, if you think we have uh, anything to improve on, please do say. So, we will be showing you today how to set up a leopard gecko enclosure, which Jack is going to be doing. Jack Blazinski and J Johnny Jennon, that's how we uh, it's called JP JG. So, um, we would like you to comment, like, favourite, and subscribe on our videos. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, you need a vivarium, which is the enclosure. This is an 18 by 11 by 6 inch. Uh, it's cost me £30, believe it or not. This is a bloody good bargain. I will admit, this is for leopard geckos. Leopard geckos. And now, to set it up, you need the substrate, which is sand that I'm using and now I will set it up now sand to be honest I think it's a lot better than reptile carpet do you agree? yeah I do agree um, because see, it's Jack's... more natural and it do... people say oh, I can get in practical front that I don't believe that that's uh, like unless a disease I, unless I get it then I do but at the moment I really don't give a crap uh, also um, I would like to point out that leopard geckos do live in desert so it is exactly. a, it's its proper habitat and it's what it prefers so if you do want um... it looks nicer I think and I'll turn the light on so you get an even better view there, there we go, go. Oh, there we go, that's a lot better. And it is just we just nearly come to 32, and I'll put the heat mat in as well. 32 is what? Just, just going to point out, 32 is also the maximum it should be. So also have a hot side, hot side and a cold side. Jack's just putting the heat mat in at the back. It just slides in. I'll show you that. There you go, it's the heat mat. Sorry, it might have gone upside down there, but oh well. And it's already 32 degrees already, and that's how quickly, and this is an exoterra. Um... I'm going to turn this Exoterra sand, by the way. Exoterra, a very helpful. Very helpful. Hold, that up. Hold that up again, please, Jack. That's right, just so we can get Sorry. a good view. That's perfect. And now the hide. This is an Exoterra hide. Very good. I like it. Made out of stone. Nice and hard and solid. Put this on the hot side, so it can have nice little sleeping. And this is very good. Oh, whoops. Make it more thicker that side. Very fussy about his sand jackets. Yeah, I have to have a pinpoint. You go make a little dip. This would just fit in not very nicely there. And now we should put in mm, mm, this log which my mum got, believe it or not, from New Zealand when she went. And it's, well, look at it, I like it. Nice little desert thing there with driftwood. So we stick that in. Which it goes where? Yeah, that goes up there, yeah, very nicely. That goes there. That will slide over just a bit, that will fit in there. You see this will go in there, just dig that in so the gecko doesn't really. No thing, because they're not that clever, are they? Let's be honest. Pretty stupid things. And now we put this log in, which I've got from Dunhill Mill, a shop in Reading. Take we are from. We are I was like, bargain. We do live in Reading, Reading, so. Yeah. I'll put that in. Just there, so things to climb on, things to do when we're not around. Just point out these are ventilation, yeah, so one, can breathe. Two, three. Very good. Yep, yeah, and this is my little mealworm food dish. Which I like, it's cool. Should put that in there. And this is my water dish, not too deep so it can't drown itself, which I like as well. This is going there, it can move over a bit there. Oh shit, sorry. I'm such a, I'm such a clumsy bat, I'm such a clumsy bit. Yep, yeah. and then this is a milk top. Yes! You're probably thinking, well, why has he got a milk top? Why, why a milk it? top? What, what a retard. But it's a very good question, and I will answer. Because this is put its calcium in. It's not big, won't take up much room. Plus, cheap, simple, put calcium in, which gives it its nutrients, stuff like that. And when you're feeding, make sure to put your um, calcium in that. Make sure you put your millworms in, like crickets and calcium, for a night before it's good for it, okay? Stick that in. Oh, shit, it's gonna be. Oh, it's not dug in deep enough. Being a bit of a bastard. Me? No, the this. twig. There we go, That's solid. And now we put this in, and that is a leopard gecko, a leopard gecko set up. Let's go around this little hide. Jack will close the lid now to see what it looks like. A very good deal. I just recommend. I really recommend blue reptiles. Um, yes. What Jack went on for all of his stuff. There's a little lock here. Same on the other side, and nothing can escape. Oh, God. Oh. See? Solid. So you can see from this side here, get a good view. Uh, up top. Which I like. Uh, 
Thank you for watching. Please Thank comment, you. rate, like, and subscribe. And we will be showing more videos like this one. Thank you.